Developing news out of Italy this afternoon. Officials say nearly 160 people are dead after an earthquake hit central Italy last night. Diane Gallagher shows us how rescuers are digging through the rubble, desperately trying to free trapped survivors. The house was trembling, shaking. It got more and more intense. It is a desperate search for survivors after a 6.2 magnitude earthquake and several aftershocks rocked central Italy. Clinking, thundering, sort of rumble. It felt like someone had put a bulldozer out of the house just trying to knock it down. Yeah. Rescue workers throughout the day Wednesday, pulling people from the rubble like this woman in the hard hit town of Amatrice. So damaged, the Civil Protection Agency says that no one will be allowed to sleep there tonight. Historic stone buildings crumbled into the streets, debris blocking access early on for heavy equipment and help. We're going to work because in the next few hours, we must continue to bring people alive from beneath the rubble. The quake struck while most were sleeping. It woke us up. It felt like the bed was on rollers. We knew, uh, you know, and just trying to get out of the building as fast as we can. Wednesday's earthquake, not the first in recent history for Italy, striking near the site of the massive 2009 quake that killed more than 300 people. As today's death toll climbs, rescue crews scramble, searching for signs of life, knowing every hour counts when it comes to saving survivors. The Prime Minister, Matteo Renzi, touring the damaged cities this afternoon and thanking those first responders for their dedication. Italian authorities believe that more than 1,000 have already been displaced. Diane Gallagher reporting.